Hello, Founder family. My name is Katie Tidball. I'm excited to be here with you today to do devotions. Today's passage comes from Genesis 18, verse 1 through 15. Please read along with me. The Lord appeared to Abraham near the great trees of Mamre while he was sitting to the entrance to his tent in the heat of the day. Abraham looked up and saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he hurried from the entrance of his tent to meet them and bowed low to the ground. He said, If I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, do not pass your servant by. Let a little water be brought, and then you may all wash your feet and rest under this tree. Let me get you something to eat so that you can be refreshed and go on your way now that you have come to your servant. Very well, they answered. Do as you say. So Abraham hurried into the tent to Sarah. Quick, he said, get three sheas of fine flour and knead it and bake some bread. Then he ran to the herd and selected a choice tender calf and gave it to the servant who hurried to prepare it. He then brought some curds and milk and the calf that had been prepared and set these before them. While they ate, he stood near them under a tree. Where is your wife, Sarah? They asked. There in the tent, he said. Then the Lord said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, will have a son. <laughs> now Sarah was listening at the entrance to the tent, which was behind him. Abraham and Sarah were already old and well advanced in years, and Sarah was past the age of childbearing. So Sarah laughed to herself as she thought, after I'm worn out and my master is old, will I now have this pleasure? Then the Lord said to Abraham, why did Sarah laugh and say, will I really have a child now that I am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year and Sarah will have a son. Sarah was afraid, so she lied and said, I did not laugh. But he said, yes, you did laugh. I think most of us can empathize with Sarah in this story. After years and years have passed and no promised baby in her arms, Sarah had pretty much given up hope. Quite frankly, she was old and pregnancy was not scientifically possible anymore. When Sarah heard one of the visitors tell Abraham that she would have a son in a year, <laughs> she laughed in disbelief. I can't say that I blame her. I try to picture how I would react to such impossible news. In her years of waiting, Sarah let doubt creep in. She began to take her eyes off God's promises and instead focused on her present circumstances. What Sarah was asked to remember and think about is found in verse 14. Is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return to you at the appointed time next year and Sarah will have a son. Sarah needed to be reminded that God has no limits and that everything is possible through him in his perfect timing. God always keeps his promises. Are you facing something that seems impossible? Have you limited what God is capable of doing? Are you patient in waiting on God in his perfect appointed timing? Have you set your focus on God and his promises or on the circumstances that you face? Instead of simply empathizing with Sarah's story, may it teach us that nothing is impossible with God and that all of his promises are yes and amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. Thank you so much for having me today.